never gonna do this without flashing anyone why are all my tops big on me yeah hi guys my name is Monica or Mooney you know and this is Mooney Reads and today I have a really exciting tag I love to do tags I don't understand why people are like Ugh, tags are just filler content I think you can find out so much about people their reading habits their reading tastes through tags so um, I was tagged actually to do this by Raj over at Rajathon. I will link his channel up here. His name is Ramsey, but I love calling him Raj. And anyway, it's called the How Do You Read Book Tag. And I thought that was interesting because it's not about like do you use bookmarks and stuff like that where it's like the most typical thing that people um, ask, but it, it asks some really interesting questions. So let's just jump right into it. So let's see, question number one is, how do you go into reading a book? Um, she gives an example, do you do your research, just read the back cover, watch some reviews, or go just go in blind? I think a lot of people here know that I love going into books blind. I might read like the first sentence of the back cover of something, but I really enjoy this idea of discovering a book and finding out as I go. And that sometimes leads me to some really interesting things because sometimes I think a book might be a thriller, but it turns out that it's actually a fantasy. I don't know. I, it's really about, for me, it's about the discovery of things. And I'm actually more of a cover reader. Like if I see an interesting cover, I like to go into the book blind rather than if I do some research. I never research books. I never go to book um, to Goodreads unless I'm halfway through the book and I'm like not liking it or I'm really liking it and I want to know what people are saying. But other than that, I just really enjoy going into books blind. Um, I think that that's my favorite way of doing it. I'm a person that's like usually dislikes surprises, but I like being surprised by books. And um, yeah, it's either read a little bit of the back like blurb or something, like the back flap thing. What is it called? Back cover. <laughs> I, I either read a little bit of the back cover or I just go into it completely blind. And uh, just so you know, my favorite books of all time, I've gone into it this way. So I think for me, it really works. Question number two, do you take a book at its face value? The example that was given was, do you look at the cover and expect what is on the cover or something else? Um, I am very much a cover reader. Like I, mm, let me look for an example. I have a couple of books here because I was doing a tag, but okay, I'm gonna show you two examples of books where um, I expected what was on the cover and one of them led me astray and the other one didn't. One of them is Born by Jeff Vandermeer, which has one of the most beautiful covers ever. Basically, you see this like alien-like creature. You have like writing down the side, so it's gonna be weird. And it's it, it's it also has a lot of um, nature elements and stuff like that, so I, this is what I was expecting. I was expecting eco-fiction weirdness by Jeff Vandermeer, and that is exactly what I got. Now, a book that I did that, I did that with is Rosewater. And if you can see, I thought this was very nature-inspired. It's got like a lot of, I, I don't know, like it almost looks almost nautical in theme, like it looks like I was looking at a coral reef or something. And um, that is not what this book is about at all. So yes, I actually do expect books to give me what I see in the cover, which is not necessarily a good thing, but it's, you know, I am totally one of those people judge a book by its cover sort of thing. And I don't think that that's a bad thing, by the way. I think we all judge books by their cover a little bit. But if I see spaceships, I'm gonna expect space travel. If I see, I don't know, roses on it, I'm gonna expect, you know, uh, it to be more flowery or about flowers or something. I am that kind of person. That's like what, what I see on the cover is what I expect to find within the pages. Question number three is really kind of difficult to answer because is, do you read a book as the author intended? Her example was, do you overanalyze fiction and look for symbolism. 
Um, I do. I actually really look for symbolism while I'm reading and after I'm reading. This is what I always say about to people when I finish a book, I sometimes like to spend some time just sitting with the book and thinking, wow, this meant this or this meant that or what are we trying to say? And sometimes I maybe don't look for the symbolism. Of course, I can't be in the author's head and unless I'm taking a class on something, I might be getting things wrong, but I definitely am one of those analytical readers. I don't take anything and just be like, oh, okay, I finished this book and I'm put it down and then I go to the next one. No, I actually have to spend time thinking about the book. And sometimes I'm thinking about books while I'm like reading a new book. Like I'll be like, imagine I just finished The Soul of an Octopus and I pick up A Study in Scarlet. Well, while I'm reading a, stu a Study in Scarlet, I'm thinking about the symbolism in the soul of an octopus. I definitely, definitely look for symbolism. I think it comes from my background as a film student, as somebody that went to school to study film analysis. I didn't study film as in filmmaking. I studied film analysis and art history. So I think that I'm always, oh, and if you see me watching movies, that is a disaster. My husband refuses to watch movies with me or well, I, mostly I refuse to watch movies with him because he just like watches and just watches like you were supposed to do. I'm like, wait a minute, why is that camera angle like this? Why are they using this lighting? Why are the colors in, these, in this scene like this? What does this scene mean in the grand scheme of things? So I take that that I do to film and apply it onto um, books, which sometimes leads to a much slower reading experience um, but I actually enjoy doing it I like unlike with film which actually leads me to like get bored of movies I really do enjoy uh, looking for symbolism and sometimes after the book is over I like investigating like I like looking up things on the internet articles written about the book and stuff like that because I miss a lot of things because I'm not as smart as I seem on the internet I actually am kind of I consider myself a little bit on the dumber side so I really just enjoy the process of pulling apart a book and finding symbolism within it like why does this character have long hair why is this character described with short hair what do the tattoos of this character mean what does this mean what you know uh what are the colors that are described in the book like i remember in uh reading when i was reading not rebecca when i was reading uh my cousin rachel she gets put in the blue room and then i was looking up at color theory of blue and stuff like that and just I definitely am like a symbolism reader. It, this is one of the reasons why I, I have this channel is because I love talking about books like that with people and I, I don't often have friends to do that with because A, they're not reading and B, they're like, Monica, it was just a blue room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I, I, I'm especially very much into like the colorism and, and not the colorism as in skin color, but that definitely, that is also something that I am really big on. I'm like, how do they, they treat the people of color in the book versus how they treat white people in the book? I love to, I don't know. I, yes, I read for symbolism. I've been going on and on and on and on and on about this. Um, and I think that that's one of the things that I love about sci-fi. What is this trying to tell me about what this person thinks the future is going to be like? What is this person trying to say about what they believe uh, humans are doing right, humans are doing wrong, and, 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 and where they think we are going, why they think the things are going to be like this? And um, yeah, I, I just, I really, and that's, for me, that is like the the best part of reading. It's just analyzing a read and not just, you know, going through emotions, which is okay. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the correct form of reading. And sometimes what I find in books is simply that, you know, <laughs> things are there just because the author felt like it. But yeah, symbolism reader all the way. <laughs> Uh, and number four, as a book lover, reader, reviewer, do you read a book differently knowing you're going to review it? Also, do you venture into other genres for a review? Um, uh, 
do I read books differently knowing that I'm going to review them? First of all, I don't really review books. I just say what I think, which I know you might be thinking is the same thing, but reviewing and giving opinions are not the same thing. So I don't really review books. I just give my opinion of how I felt while I was reading them. So do I read differently? No, I don't. Because again, since I'm already like a very, um, like, I, I'm always looking for the symbols and the meanings and things like that. I don't change that. What I do adjust a little bit is uh, my enjoyment level. Like, I always say that I, I give stars for enjoyment versus literary merit. But sometimes I do feel a little bit obligated to give certain books that have literary merit a little bit of a higher score. What was the other part of the question? Hang on, I forgot. <laughs> do I venture to other genres? Actually, what has been happening to me lately is that I can't find things within the genre that I like that I want to read. Um, as all of you know, I love sci-fi. Sci-fi is my favorite genre and yet I can't find sci-fi in the like ideal sci-fi for me and I actually feel that I have to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig in order to find sci-fi to bring to my channel because I feel that I am somehow letting my audience down by not reading enough sci-fi and it's actually been a problem because I I kind of stand in front of my bookshelf and I realize that I don't have like enough sci-fi books and I definitely feel like like I don't it's so strange I, it feels like I'm letting somebody down like they come here for the sci-fi and all I read is I don't know uh, classics or a non-fiction and I think that that's where the the problem comes in I also um, do venture out now from reading only white authors Obviously, I'm trying to read more BIPOC authors because I realize that I am definitely a colorblind reader um, and I, that is something that I'm trying to fix. So, yeah, I guess I do do things differently because I have a booktube channel. If I didn't, would I do them as different? I don't know, but I definitely have um, expanded my reading experience because of booktube when it comes to authors. I, I, I think I just talked around in circles, I'm so sorry, but I think these questions are so interesting. But anyway, um, those are the four questions about how I read and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna tag, um, you know what, I'm gonna tag the usual subs suspects. <laughs> I'm gonna tag Jessie from Bookish Moms. I'm gonna tag Sarah uh, from Voyages Through Worlds. I'm gonna tag Connor from Connor Stampanato. I'm gonna tag Kizzy from, oh Kizzy, I forgot your channel, but well, if you're watching this, your tag. And um, one more person, I'm gonna tag Lena from uh, Sufficiently Advanced Lena to do this so that I can hear your answers about all of this. And yeah, um, without any further ado, I wish you adieu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. Please do all those fun things that make me smile because <laughs> I love smiling. And anyway, uh, and thank you so much to Ramsey for tagging me. You always tag me in your tags and I really appreciate it. I think your videos are awesome and um, keep up the good work. So. Yeah, without any further ado, I bid you adieu with the friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And well, if I'm feeling a little extra, sometimes I post a little bit more, but I haven't been feeling a little bit extra, so you get those three videos a week. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye, guys.